Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. So let's say that your MIDI player that you've been using since like 1960 has finally stopped working. How in the world are you going to play any MIDI files? It's not like you can just look up MIDI player online and instantly find one that does not stop working. So the only way you can play the MIDI file is by playing it yourself. So you then open the file, and you see whatever this monstrosity is. How in the world are you going to manually play this file? Well, today I will be showing you. Well, the current format of the file is an ASCII. Each letter, including the spaces and new lines, all represent one byte. But a lot of these letters look like empty spaces and are indistinguishable. So I suggest that you convert it to hexadecimal, since not only is it much easier to read, but it also aligns best with how the file is encoded by the computer. Do not use any terrible online converter, because none of them that I found actually converts it correctly. Instead, use Hex Workshop or Notepad++. Afterwards, you will end up with something like this. It still looks like nothing, but trust me, it will be easy. First of all, find the two bytes before the first 4D5472-6B. Convert it to decimal, and this will be your tempo. Then, find the first FF. Go left past the first 04, then focus on the next two bytes, which represent the time signature. The second byte, the denominator, is actually a negative power of 2, then divided by 4. So if it is 02, then it will be 1 beat, and if it is 03, then it will be half a beat. So if the first two bytes are 04 and 02, then the time signature will be 4 beats, with each beat being a quarter note. Then, find the next 00FF5902. The next byte after that will determine the key signature. Convert it to decimal. If the value is pretty high, then it will use flats. The difference from 256 will determine the number of flats. If it is pretty low, then the value will be the number of sharps. That is all you will need to know for the beginning. Next, skip all the way to the last FF in the beginning chunk. Move to the right until you see a 90. After you convert them to decimal, the next two bytes will determine the pitch, with 60 being middle C, and volume of the note, respectively. If the hex of the byte after that starts with an 8, then pay attention to the next two bytes. Otherwise, you only need to look at the next one byte. If it starts with an 8, then remove the 8, so you will have three characters. The only point of the 8 is to show that the value will take up two bytes instead of one. Then, convert your result to decimal, and divide it by your BPM. Now, you will know how many beats you must hold the note. The next three bytes look very similar to the first note you looked at, except it has a velocity of zero. This tells you there is a rest. The next byte, or two bytes, again, if the byte starts with an 8, tells you how long to rest before starting the next note. And then the process repeats for all of the other notes, until you either see OOFF2 FOO, which tells you everything is over, or until you see a 4D5468-64, which tells you the next track is starting. So to conclude this video, you should definitely switch to this type of sight reading, because it is far better than normal sheet music. In fact, people literally learn this stuff in schools that are probably run by computers giving people music lessons. So this is basic knowledge that you have to know. Anyways, see you next time, and bye.